We're supposed uh, to answer. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, that's one of us. Amar, I think. You're the best qualifier. Yeah, that's. <laughs> okay, so um, it was an accident. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Yay! <laughs> No, but honestly, it was like your, your, your previous question, in fact, Esco, when you were asking that, you know, is this the kind of decision you take on purpose? Is it something that you do because you think where you have about it? Yeah. Well, that's exactly the case. It's because we are having a beta, and as I told you just before in the previous podcast, when we were discussing about what's going to be the beta for, I was pretty clear about saying that uh, it wasn't meant to be uh, a demo that it's going to be free for all. It, it's still meant to, to help us developers to tweak the game, to decide exactly uh, what kind of gameplay we want to promote, how we're going to balance the game. And because we've got that chance and that opportunity to, to test different things, well, that's what we're going to do. We felt that a lot of people were getting those um, bonuses that are like, uh, I would say, pretty high, for 100 points for, for this kind of uh, of kill and during the development of the game we tried with different scoring system going from 50 to 75 to 100 to more to less and trying to get them easier or, or harder basically to get so it's the two main thing we're going to play on and we're going to start with something on day one that we're going to be proud of but okay. uh, it doesn't mean that it's going to be like fixed forever yeah so we are still doing some tests and the two different things that we're going to play with is going to be the difficulty to get those kind of bonuses and the number of points you're going to get. So <laughs> yes, it's something we did on purpose and with it change during the course of the rest of the beta, I can't say right now, but it's something that may happen. Okay. But please, if you've got feedback about that, feel free to share it on our forum, on Facebook and everything new and we're going to take every, every, you know, every opinion into account, that's sure. Yeah, I mean, that's... Um... But personally, for me, it's it's something that, uh, you know, they, they go hand in hand. You know, you have an increased stun range, so it's easier mm -hmm. to at least initiate that stun, not necessarily land it. Um, mm -hmm. then, but then you're getting 100 points for not necessarily, I wouldn't call it failure, and that, that's probably the wrong word to use, but sort of like not successfully, you know, pulling <laughs> off that move that you were trying to. You're still getting 100 points for it, which on the one hand, for newer players who don't know how to stun mm -hmm. it's like oh well you know I, I i didn't win the battle but hey he didn't get got something out of yeah, it <laughs> i got something out of it now so um going down to 50 points um i guess and keeping the range it's not it's not you know it's not an excuse to just spam the circle button which a lot of people i've played against have been doing they just walk towards a group that they think somebody is in and they're just <laughs> gonna keep they just random. start smacking face yeah so um well i remember like one of my videos i have me standing like i'm in a hay bale in knight's hospital and there are these two guys they're just running around hitting npcs i'm like what are you doing <laughs> was one of them named shenmue 36 i was just curious <laughs> <laughs> no but one of them wore the sentinel <laughs> oh see it may have been i don't know yeah, I, I remember. I'm like, it looks like fun, but you're really obvious. <laughs> and then I got one as my target. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Moise, I quit looking at me funny NPC. Smack. <laughs> I've done that. You look like you're going to try and kill me. <laughs> so wait, when you got one of them as your target, did you have to be more careful when you approach them, would you say? Oh, no, I was just hiding in the hay bale, so I just waited till they came close enough, like running after uh -huh. another NPC, and I killed them from there. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I've had a similar situation, and I know I think Angie's had it as well, where I've got a contested kill from inside a hay bale. I don't understand how oh, that... I, 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 I had a bit of a mini rant on Twitter. You guys probably saw it. But I don't <laughs> think, personally, you should be able to get contested kills from inside hay bales because you can't stun a hay bale. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've had that too. Yeah, Actually, I'll challenge that. Charge in Brotherhood. You could stun hay bales. <laughs> but what's, what's <laughs> Isn't that an effect of sort of latency more than anything else in that a lot of the time I found if I charged the hay bale and stunned the person, they were still in the process of getting in. Um, their legs might have been hanging out or something. I never fully charged the hay bale and then stunned the person out of it. You should try that. I have done it. I have done it. Give them like a charley horse while they're jumping in. And... Yeah. <laughs> Uh -oh. But um, keeping on the stun range, uh, the other thing, obviously, that it affected is the use of poison. Now, a lot of people have been trying out poison in the beta. And the one thing we immediately noticed is, whereas before in Brotherhood, you poisoned someone and there was that split second where they could retaliate and stun you before they died. It's considerably longer now. I, I know I've been stunned a good three seconds after I've deployed poison. Um, 
what was the reasoning for changing that mechanic? Because, I mean, poison's supposed to be like that, the, the most stealthy of actions. You know, it's, it's the risk reward. You have to literally be humping the person's leg to deliver the poison. <laughs> but, you know, uh, you, you, you barely make any movement that's uh, discernible. And, you know, a lot of the time you can walk off. But a lot of people, you know, combined with the fact that you've now made it easier for people to determine pursuers, at least you've put the prompt of the whispers now in the game. So people start getting jumpy the moment they start hearing whispers if they can hear them and then if they're any good at spotting a pursuer they're going to see that person fast walking towards them to deliver a uh, unhealthy dose of poison and then people actively chase me after i've deployed poison to stun me um <laughs> yeah it shouldn't, it shouldn't be I, I personally don't think it should be but i want to find out if you guys what's i mean why why the change um well, there was a, wo a lot of changes you've seen in lots of different abilities and lots of different, uh, I would say, core mechanics. So that's exactly why we we need to have a test with uh, you guys because yeah. uh, <laughs> you, you know the system best and you've uh, you know you know every single exploit and every single combo like smoke bomb poison and everything. Mm. So <laughs> in order to get rid of all all of the stuff, well, whenever you're tweaking a lot of data at the same time, yeah. uh, at some point you're gonna gain some balance and you're gonna gain some fairness, and in other point you're gonna lose a lot of you know fairness because you're going to come up to a cross situation where are really weird in the game so what we are trying to do is get rid of this weird situation and exploit and in the same time try to come up with a fair system because um as you know, uh, past some time playing Brotherhood, it was not that hard to pull out a, a poison kill. Mm -hmm. And you would have like a lot of points, and it happens a lot of time where you're basically playing the game and you're just dying suddenly because you've been poisoned and you, you have even never seen it coming, which is, you know, what it was meant for. But with all the added elements that we've got, like all the clue and things, it could be easier to spot your opponents coming towards you so of course with the fact that we've changed the stun meter and everything yeah. there's a lot of different elements we need to, to to balance and tweak so one of the things we are tweaking right now and focusing is more of the stun system but of course ability is going to go next so maybe you're gonna you're gonna see some change uh, during the beta i'm not sure right now yeah. but uh, of course for the launch of the game we're probably going to tweak some of the data and Still waiting on your feedback, so yep. it means that Gabe and UBD Lite like, is going to have tons <laughs> of work during the next coming weeks. But <laughs> that's for the game. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can't we can't win. I mean, before it's like, hey, uh, like smoke focus poison is overpowered. Now it's just like now we can't poison anymore. <laughs> it's a delicate balance, and we're working we're working to to make it the most fair we possibly can. Yeah. And in the process, we have to have a beta so that we can abuse you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, Gabe, actually, I know Angie really wanted to ask a question about a character we've been seeing popping up in the beta. So, Angie, fire away. <laughs> yeah, I, I have to ask about the courtesan. Um, when I've been going into Manhunt and Artifact Assault, when it comes to the leader selection, I keep seeing her briefly pop up. And I just wondered if she will be a playable character. Good question. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're gonna have an answer question. you're gonna have an answer is, can i have the officer back <laughs> <laughs> no, bring the thief. you know Captain i think that's one of the awesome. funniest things actually yeah i think that's one of the funniest things is everyone has like especially among you guys you guys all have your like special <laughs> uh personal personas that you always play and, and so when looking around the community i always think it's funny to to, to see how many people are like which which one of them are going to be like the happy campers in Revelations, and which one of them will be totally disappointed <laughs> that their character didn't make it? Um, and yeah, just as Amar says, like uh, I I'm I'm not authorized to uh, make any announcements this time. That is so a good I'm gonna answer. Have to <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep you. I'm gonna have to keep you guys on pins and needles a little bit longer. Oh, oh dang! <laughs> but it's not that much longer. It's just a couple months. Like. <laughs> Oh, okay. No problem. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoy, I've really enjoyed the new models we have in the game. I was always a barber guy, and now I'm a deacon guy. I'm always <laughs> a trickster. Oh, he's the deacon. Sorry. No, I, I actually quite different. like the sentinel as well. I think he's pretty awesome. Don't you I, I mean the sentinel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, the sentinel. Sorry. I think, uh, I think uh, the sentinel was definitely up there in one of our unofficial polls of who was uh, the most popular characters. I see the sentinel. I see the trickster. And I see uh, the guardian up there. Uh, yeah, the, the champion people, the champion. 
Jake. Ooh, the bombardier yeah, has the awesome. the bombardier has the greatest face during his talks, though. So he's a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. I think as soon oh, as the bombardier is the one I played the most. I knew that Shen Yu would like him. <laughs> <laughs> like the proud person, aren't you? <laughs> well, you know, you know, I had unofficial talks with the with the team over in Montreal, and I was like, the champion needs to be modelled on me. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the Esco Blades character. Yeah, <laughs> should have just made an Esco Blades character. <laughs> we can have yeah. you voice your own taunts. So it'll be great. Uh, <laughs> press B for bitch slap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that new stun for the girls. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just someone slap in the face. <laughs> okay. Um. The there was another point, and this was something I know. Um. I I actually didn't see this until Rainy Shemu and Angie had pointed this out to me, and that was the challenge list. Now it does give away a few things in that a lot of modes are going to be returning. Uh, at last check, I was able to determine wanted deathmatch, easy deathmatch, manhunt. Artifact Assault, Chess Capture, Escort, Assassinate, and of course, Corruption. Um, what is Corruption? Yeah, yeah okay, that that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that, I'm like, hmm, what is this? Yeah, David, what is Corruption? <laughs> uh, AMR, what is Corruption? <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. No, nonsense. As you've seen, we've, we've let a couple of words slip through the beta, uh, obviously on purpose to... Um, Basically, mind fuck every single one of you. And <laughs> it, has, it has been done once again. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that one. And <laughs> oh, no, so you're going to see, though, uh, regarding the cast and the mode, uh, you're going to see uh, a lot of different assets coming out in the upcoming weeks, giving you answers on who's going to be in the game, new characters, maybe returning cost, and also. You're going to have explanation on some of the new mode that we've hide uh, uh, in the beta. And you've seen that there's challenges that are referencing to, you know, modes that are not in the beta. Mm -hmm. And right now it was just to see if, you know, some of you would spot that. And it's cool. <laughs> you've spotted that. And as you've already seen, there's one good thing, which is uh, we've got tons of mods. I mean, we've got, you know, lots of variety and even more diversity that, than in the previous game. And it's also something we are super proud and excited about. That's good. Well, guys, you heard that here first. Uh, in the next few weeks, just keep your eyes and ears out. Uh, oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of information dropping on a lot of this new stuff. Um, I, I have to kind of uh, ruin the moment a little bit here in that I have a worry. Um, mm -hmm. And it ties into another point, uh, which is the active splitting up of friends in team games in the, in the beta. I'm sure you've probably seen the feedback. But mm -hmm. I remember when myself, Rainy, and a few others tried to play together. Uh, it was with Shemi, actually, and it just would not happen <laughs> because you've lowered the minimum number of mm -hmm. agents needed to start some games to four. Yeah. So if mm -hmm. a team of four goes into a game and it doesn't immediately find opponents, it's going to split up that party of four. Um, mm -hmm. that, so the auto-balancing at the moment is causing some frustration uh, yep. in the fact that it's splitting up people. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'd obviously hope that that's something you guys can look at, but... Uh, uh, you know the 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 four limit. Um, I'm, I'm guessing you guys I implemented that to try and make games, you know, happen a lot quicker. And people yep. st stood staring at the Abstergo agents loading screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you know, is it is that something you can tweak between now and the end of the beta? Um, um, uh, so yeah. So regarding that, first thing is. Uh, I hope you've noticed, but we've uh, improved uh, a lot on matchmaking mm -hmm. and on the perception of waiting during, you know, between two matches and things that you can do uh, between two.